Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you an NFL week six preview between the Detroit Lions and the Philadelphia Eagles. Now let's look at some keys to victory for both teams starting with Detroit. When I look at the Lions, I instantly want to focus on the defensive line. They're going to have to have a huge game this week versus Philadelphia in setting the edge. That not only stops Michael Vick, but also stops LaShawn McCoy from getting to the perimeter. So you have to have great D-line play in order to defeat the Philadelphia Eagles. In the secondary, the Lions don't have an interception all season long. They have to play above the rim. They have to do a great job of coming away with a turnover versus those Eagles wide receivers. Now, when you look at the offensive side of football, how can they attack that Eagles defense? Let's go inside the lab to see how they can attack it with the passing game. Everyone expects the Lions to go deep down the field of Calvin Johnson, but I think they can have some success this week versus the Eagles by utilizing the Delta concept. You see what we have right here is the traditional set that the Lions love to run, two tight ends, two wide receivers, one back. And the Delta concept is basically stretching the defense horizontally and attacking a three, three deep, four deep type of coverages. And what you're doing is you're working two defenders versus one guy. So this is the quarterback's read right here. This strong safety as he's matched up on Tony Scheffler or Brandon Pettigrew. If he jumps into the curl lane, then the quarterback hits the shoot. If he falls underneath the hook, then he hits the curl. Those type of situations where you have two guys on one defender, the quarterback has a simple read and it's an effective way to get the football out of Matt Stafford's hands very quickly. Now let's move over to the Philadelphia Eagles, and I honestly want to see fullback Stanley Havili get more involved in the offense. The Eagles used to utilize their fullbacks a whole bunch, guys like Stanley Pritchard and also Leonard Weaver. Get those guys involved, get that guy involved in the offense, and I think they can have some success versus the Lions. Gives the defense much more to worry about, and Danny Watkins is going to have to have a huge day. He's going to have to keep and Dominican Sue, Nick Fairley, those guys out of the backfield and out of the face of Michael Vick. And when I look at Marty Morningwig and Michael Vick, they got to call a better game this week to put the offense in position to be successful. Now let's go inside the lab to see how the defense can take away Calvin Johnson from the Detroit Lions. There are many different ways you could bracket a wide receiver. And when we talk about bracketing, we're talking about keeping a guy underneath and keeping a guy over top. And the Eagles have to come in and find a way to bracket Calvin Johnson. So we have right here just a basic coverage and how they could go in their nickel set and bracket in Calvin Johnson. If they put Calvin Johnson in the slot, how can we effectively bracket him in the slot? This is how you do so. You can have different, these guys right here have to communicate. The backer, the nickel guy, and the corner all have to communicate as well as the free safety. So if you're going to get creative, you want to make sure this guy stays on the outside shoulder of Calvin Johnson because if he goes inside you have this guy to protect and the need to wall off and you have this guy right here to squash over top so that way he only has a slight window and you also want to make sure you disrupt his timing by forcing him to go inside where your help is but let's say the coverage calls for you to go to the outside say it calls for him to go this way you want to funnel him that way to your help stay on his out on his inside shoulder force him in because obviously this guy is going to play on his outside he's going up Free safety will take care of him. Now you have Calvin Johnson bracketed because you can wall him off on the inside. You can take care of him on the outside. So in order for the Eagles to have success versus Detroit, it's all about walling off Calvin Johnson and force Matt Stafford to go to these other targets down the field. Michael Vick is the X factor for the Philadelphia Eagles. He has to protect the football. If he can hold on to the football, don't fumble it away, or don't throw an interception, the Eagles are a very tough team to beat, so he has to come away without turnovers. And I look at the Lions' offensive line versus the Eagles' defensive front. Keeping the trash out of Stafford's face could go a long way in the Lions winning this ballgame, so the offensive line has to have a huge day versus Philadelphia. Let's look at the personnel breakdown in this ball game. The Lions have talent, just don't utilize their running backs enough for these guys to be effective. You got to run the football. The offensive line lacks, and I think that's where the Eagles can't take advantage. But everywhere else, the Lions can't come in and compete in this ball game. 
I like the Eagles in this ball game. I think Philadelphia comes in and they're going to run the football. They're going to get back to basics. They will be able to get to the outside in the running game. And I think that will just open up the play action pass and keep things simple for Michael Vick so he won't have as many opportunities to turn the football over. And defensively, the Lions are one dimensional. And I think that aspect allows them to go into Philadelphia and get beat. I also want to give a huge shout out to Eagle Fan Forums and Detroit Lion Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.